over the past two or so weeks I've been building out the main features of my language learning app. I'm not gonna lie, this took way longer than I expected. You know how you start a project and you probably always think like, oh yeah, this will take like a day. I could do this in a day, man. Yeah, no, never mind. And it was also the most unexpected part that was the hardest out of all of this. Uh, anyway, I'll touch on that later. I'm building my dream language learning app right now. Uh, let's say I'm learning French and so I'm reading some news to try and, you know, improve my skills. But the problem is whenever I come across a word I don't know, it's kind of annoying, you know, like, how, did I, how do I know what the word is? I gotta open up another tab, go into Google Translate, blah, blah, blah. So you just copy and paste all the text and then let's just call this like French test or something. Oh, I don't know what this word is. And so what you can do is you can click on it. And this brings up the public dictionary. So this is what I've been working on, getting this translation. So this is with DeepL. Um, and then I also get a AI generated explanation of the word in the context of the sentence, which I think is really actually useful. Um, so you can see, yeah, I get the meaning of the word in the context. And um, this is pretty much just the explanation of the sentence. And then this I find really useful as well, the grammar notes. Yeah, for that I'm using Gemini right now. So yeah, that's what I've done there. And then finally, I also have example sentences, um, which is really cool to implement as well. I'm actually using an API for that that's free. Uh, so that's super uh, fun. The last thing I did was also implement a cache. So every single time I go and um, I hit this, I'm not calling the DeepL API each time. Um, so you can see if I click on the ones I already clicked on, uh, they just immediately load uh, sync for like the the context exclamation as, as well and the example sentences i just cached it um yeah so that way i'm not making multiple requests each time i'm making slow progress on this but you know it's progress so i'm not building as fast as other people and i'm fine with that you know i'm not building this just to try and make money i'm building this to really like learn you know how to make good systems how to build software that's actually useful that's my goal with this i have all these features with the pop-up dictionary and all of that what do you think was the hardest part <laughs>
um, that I'm just thinking most of the time. I'm not even touching my keyboard. I'm just sitting there like thinking because I don't want to create like super spaghetti code, you know, like I'm still inexperienced. So I'm sure I'm still making plenty of mistakes, but I've actually restarted this project twice already. <laughs> it just got super messy, super fast. And I really want to avoid that again. So I'm really trying my best to think before I code. But sometimes when you think too abstract for too long, then you start to actually do it and you realize that the way you've been thinking is just completely wrong anyway. Yeah, so I'm finding I'm really struggling with that, like finding the balance between coding and just getting shit done and trying to get it done nicely and clean, you know? But that's the other thing, like does clean code really matter if you can just get out the final product to the end user, right? Like the end user doesn't care about the code quality. So I think it is important to think about system design a lot, but I think, yeah, there's a balance. So that literally takes so much of my time and you know, you start building something and then you think, wait, am I even building this the right way? Like, I feel like I should structure it a completely different way. And then, so you kind of refactor it and yeah. So that just takes so much time. Now the problem is, is that uni is starting again and this semester is looking hella busy. In fact, one of my classes is actually about building a startup <laughs> with AI and stuff. Um, so we're going to get in teams and build a startup. So <laughs> that's going to be super time consuming. I'm going to really struggle, I think, to find time to actually make reasonable progress on this, which really sucks. I really was hoping oh, I can get it done within this like one month break we had. But no, I nowhere near it. You know, I spent hours, but uh, you know, as I said, a lot of it's just thinking, you know, and even just thinking about um, APIs, you know, reading the docs of those APIs, trying to see, okay, if I use this API, would it even work? Weighing up the pros and cons of different APIs, you know, because maybe they cost some money, maybe this one doesn't, but it doesn't really provide what I, you know, exactly need. Yeah, so I just, bam, and there you go, a month's gone. Balancing uni while still trying to make progress in this at a reasonable place, it's gonna to be tough. Yeah, I don't know what my strategy is for doing this. Like, I'll try and work on it every day, but I really don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now, the next step for my app is I want to be able to have users save the words um, so they can rate the words on how, f how familiar they are with the words. So, you know, one being they don't, the word is new to them, and then five being they completely know the word. And based on their rating, uh, when the user is looking through text and stuff, it's, the words will be highlighted uh, a certain color based on if they know it or they don't. And yeah, that's going to be, I think, pretty hard as well. <laughs> um, you know, it's one of those things where you think about it for, at first and you think it's not going to be hard, but I think it's going to be a um, challenging feature to try and implement. But it'll be really fun as well. But other than that, I also have, yeah, I just have so much to implement still. Like even though I've finished like the core, core feature, there's still just so much to go. And I really don't know how long it's going to take me to finish this, but yeah, I'm in no rush, as I say. But yeah, this is the journey. I've already learned so much. I really want to build a community of like-minded people and we can all help each other out when needed, you know? So yeah, if you're all interested, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> um, and then I'll be back with the next update of Kiku. Thank you all for watching, man. See you.